Hi friends, welcome to my channel Optometry Online. The topic for today is MCQ questions regarding cornea. First question, what is the normal endothelial cell count? The options are 250 to 350 cells, 500 to 1000 cells, 2000 to 3000 cells, 5000 to 6000 cells. The answer is 2000 to 3000 cells. The central endothelial cell density is uh, at the age of 8, uh, 8 is th around 3500. And, and it gradually declines at the rate of 0.6% per year and it reaches to around 2300 at the age of 85. So the answer for this question is 2000 to 3000 cells an hour, on an average. And when the cells decreases to around 500 cells per millimeter square, there's a high is at risk of developing corneal edema. Next question, which of the behavioral modification reduces the risk of keratoconus progression? The options are avoiding avoidance of eye rubbing, increased dietary intake of omega-3 fatty acids, avoiding smoking, avoiding LED exposure light. The answer is avoiding eye rubbing because eye rubbing can contribute to the progression of keratoconus and it also increases the risk of high drops in advanced cases. Third question, for nutrition, the cornea depends on diffusion of glucose from aqueous humor, peripheral limbal circulation, ciliary arteries, vitreous humor. The answer is diffusion of glucose from aqueous humor. So as you all know, the cornea is the only avascular portion of the uh, eye. And so it has, it usually receives the glucose from the aqueous human and also from the atmospheric oxygen. Fourth question, which of the following corneal layer does not regenerate? The options are corneal epithelium, Bowman's membrane, corneal stroma, Desmet's membrane. The answer is Bowman's membrane because when there's any infection or any inflammation or trauma involved in the Bowman's membrane, it doesn't regenerate and it causes the corneal opacity causing the visual loss. Fifth question, the health and function of endothelial cell mosaic can be assessed by the following techniques. Option A, speculum microscopy, corneal B, corneal topography, option C, tonometer, of, option D, ophthalmoscope. The answer is speculum microscopy. It can also be viewed by the slit lamp, but speculum microscopy gives a more functional and detailed assessment of the corneal endothelial layer. Next question, the knowledge of corneal thickness is essential before interpreting Option A, axial length, B, refractive error, C, intraocular pressure, option D, corneal curvature. The answer is intraocular pressure because we all know there's a strong relationship between the corneal thickness and intraocular pressure. The higher uh, the corneal thickness, it can overestimate the IOP and the thinner cornea tend to underestimate the IOP. Next question. Which of the following technique is used to visualize the ocular structures in opaque cornea? Slit lamp, DO, ASOCT and UBM. The answer is UBM because it has got a better penetration in case of opaque corneas. Which of the following can cause more tissue damage? Acid burn, alkali burn, metal foreign body or blunt injury? The answer is alkali burn because the alkali burn can cause liquefaction necrosis and as the protein and lipids combine and it, uh, the alkali can penetrate deep inside the ocular tissue and cause greater damage compared to the acid burn. Next question, the pigment deposited in the case of fleecial ring is option A, melanin, option B, hemosiderin, option C, copper, option D, iron. So the answer is uh, copper because uh, it occurs in Wilson's disease and as in, in Wilson's disease, uh, the copper gets accumulated as a result of liver disorders and in eyes, it gets accumulated in the decimates membrane, which is called as case of fleecial ring. Which of the following is a contraindication for donor's cornea? The option A is uncontrolled diabetes, option B cataract surgery, option C death of unknown cause, option D refractive error. The answer is option C death of unknown cause. The bacteria which can attack intact corneal epithelium is Neisseria gonorrhoeae. Fifth nerve palsy could cause ptosis, proptosis, neurogenic retopathy, lack of thalamus. The answer is neurogenic retopathy. Why the tissue from the donor cornea is less than two years of age is usually not used in corneal transplantation. The options are tissue is steep and placid, ethical concerns, tissue is the endothelial cells are not fully developed, the corneal stroma is thin. The answer is the tissue is very steep and placid, it cannot be uh, properly uh, used in the keratoplasty surgery. Post G embryo toxin is associated with options accent field rigor, option B repeat as anomaly, option C congenital aniridia, option D Down syndrome. Answer is Accent feels weaker anomaly. Next question. The cornea is supplied by the nerves from the trochlear nerve, optic nerve, trigeminal nerve, oculomotor. The answer is trigeminal nerve. Next question. 
the corneal Herbert's rosettes are found in mucopurulent conjunctivitis, plictin, conjunctivitis, active trochoma, spring catara. So it is usually found in active trochoma because they are the white elevations on the upper margin of cornea, which is pathognomonic of trochoma. Commonest cause of hypopian corneal ulcer is moraxella, gonococcus, pneumococcus, staphylococcus. The answer is pneumococcus. Next question, dendritic corneal ulcer is typical of option A, varicella zoster, option B, herpex simplex, option B, pseudomonas, option D, aspergillus. The answer is herpex simplex. Next question, satellite nodules are caused by option A, bacteria, option B, virus, option C, fungus, option D, rickets. The answer is option C, fungus. In fungal keratitis, the cornea, they have present with us a white gray infiltrate with feathery borders, but whereas in case of bacterial keratitis, there is an epithelial plaque which has been present. So this is a discriminating feature between both the keratitis. Coming to the last question. So where do you see all these uh, features? So increased corneal diameter of greater than 12.5 mm, normal IOP, thin cornea. So they are the features suggestive of option A, keratoconus, option B, megalocornea, option C, bookthalmos, or option D, moron cells. The answer is megalocornea. So that's all for the video today. If you like my video, kindly like, share and subscribe my channel. Thanks for watching.